At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Liverpool, and they take on Norwich City. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Salah now, he could pick out a teammate. Keeper's ball every day of the week. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. A good and fair challenge. Firing it towards goal. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Now, how about the short corner? Well, increasing the pressure, another corner it is. Playing it short. Henderson sends it back. That's how to rob them of possession. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, Mo Salah knows how to light up any game, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Diogo Jota, Thiago, Fabinho now, well they must exercise caution standing off as they are, working away patiently, looking for an opening, well he has players waiting at the back post, not away completely, racing forward trying to catch them out, well, they profit from this situation. Just fizzled out, really. Oh, good play, this. Could cross it in here. A very timely interception. Mane. And this is Diogo Jota now. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And they're going for the short one. Robertson. Henderson. And that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Les Melou. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, as the stats confirm, Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Shot up. Well, the keeper should grab hold of it. Matthias Norman. Sergeant. Ahrens. Well, they have the ball once more. And space on the wing for Liverpool. Fabinho read it well. 
Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Buki. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, the referee deciding that it didn't warrant a yellow card being handed out. Understandably, he wanted to give it a go, but straight at the keeper. Milner. Salah. Alexander-Arnold. Here's Milner. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Milner. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. And a decent position for Liverpool to be in. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. And the referee will go back now to the earlier incident. Yellow card it is. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Just wanted to get it out of there. and pull back Sargent and after that fantastic effort it's gone out for a throw in he's given it away Tiago Mane not quite accurate enough a good and fair challenge able to skip past his man and getting across to stop it well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change and he's fired over the corner. And up for grabs off the keeper. And a goal to put them in front. Real drama here. Well, here it is again. And you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Losing possession a bit easily. 15 minutes left for play. Fluency of movement. There's Milu. Wasteful again in possession. Fabinho. This is Salah. Milner. It's with Fabinho. Encouraging move from Liverpool. 
not quite the accuracy he was looking for. That will be a goal kick. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. He's given the ball away here, Salah. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle, but not quite yet. Can Liverpool preserve the win? Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Yeah, just about edging it overall. It's been a really tight game, hasn't it? Chances at a premium, and you have to praise their defending in that regard. Just got to see out the final few minutes now. No silly mistakes at the back. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. A very effective clearance. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Ben Gibson. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance.